Hi friends, welcome to WebJump automation series. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can download the attachments that we received in an email to a specific folder with the help of Python. So obviously I'm going to use the Python. So if you want to do this kind of automations, you need to have the Python installed on your system. And along with that, what you need to do is you need to install one more Python library. That library name is called pywin32 so you need to install this okay just run, run the open the command prompt and run this command the, that the library will get installed on your system so once installation is done we can start writing our python code so how to write okay so here i will say import first we need to import the library whatever the library we installed Okay, so I will import in this way. After that, what we need is we need to in, import the OS package also. So I will write OS. Okay, so if you don't have installed this, so you can do the same thing the way we have installed pybin32. So now once you are done with this, what we need to do is we need to create the Outlook object. So I will create, meaning I have received one attachment on this email. Okay, so here, but let's say you may want to download the attachment from all the emails. So even that is possible. So first we will do that. So here what I will do, I will say Outlook. And what you need to do is to create the instance, you need to say win32. I am using alias here instead of writing every time okay, win32 dot win32 com dot clients. So I can use win32 directly. So dot and here it has a dispatch method. This method is used to create the Outlook object. So I will say Outlook dot application. Okay. So this is what the application we have to access with the help of Python. And after that, you need to go to the specific uh, item of Outlook server. So that is what the mappy namespace. So here I will say get namespace mapping okay, so this will create the outlook object and here uh, on this namespace everything you will find it related to your inbox or related to your outlook okay so now we have to create the inbox obviously we have created the object of outlook but how to access the inbox so to access the inbox you need to say outlook dot okay get the default folder get default folder okay this is what the way and outlook folder indicated inbox folder is indicated by the six number okay this these are the naming conventions or we can say this is what the index with the help of this main outlook folder meaning without any subfolder we can access this inbox folder okay so now this is what you have to do once you are done so obviously you reached to the inbox but you have to reach to the inbox items emails okay so all these emails are referred uh, with the word as an item in case of Python. So inbox, inbox dot items is going to return us the, all the emails okay, that we have in the inbox folder. But the problem is that, okay, you cannot uh, use in this way. So you need to go through the one by one email. So I will create local variable called email using loop and i will say for email in inbox dot item okay so i'm looping so we know how loop works so this email will extract the each item of this inbox so it will go through the all the inbox okay and this email uh, can have the multiple attributes like email dot sender and all so we can use the, those attributes to put the restrictions okay so far i'm not going to put the restrictions okay so uh, what i would like to do is i would like to before this i would like to create the uh, folder where to save the attachment so i will say save folder and here you need to copy the path of that folder so okay so I, if i copy this and if i come here specify the path okay use double backward slash Okay. Either you can use double backward slash or single forward slash, both are going to work. 
now this save folder we will use to save the okay but the problem is okay this is what image not an attachment so we have to access the attachment from this email right and one email can house a number of attachments so in that case what we can do we can go for again I, we can apply the loop and i will say attachment from okay not from instead of in because in email dot attachments okay so one email can contain the multiple attachments out of that we have to go for the one attachment and this attachment can have the file name so we have to use the that okay so let, let's say here i would like to uh, create the attachment name because you have to say where to save this attachment so we can use attachment dot the method name called save as a file i would like to save this as a file and what is the name is let's say attachment dot file name as it is with the extension everything will be copied with this okay but the problem is i would like to uh, join the two parts because i have to save the attachment in this folder and to perform that kind of operation so we need to use os dot join dot path okay and inside this method we can say here as a save folder okay so save folder plus this attachment name will be combined by this os dot join dot path so this will join two strings or uh, these two paths and it will save the attachment to that specific folder now let's say if i run this file if i run this okay it says os dot join okay it has no attribute os okay i made a mistake os dot path dot join i should write so my bad i should say os dot i think i called os dot path dot join but i write in incorrectly okay so now if i try to run this okay it got successfully executed let, let me clear this command prompt and if i come here okay what is this okay so these many attachments are downloaded okay let me clear this folder entire folder i have downloaded uh, sorry deleted so if you come to this attachment folder here you can see that this folder is empty now again if i run this script you can see that it is downloading the all the attachment right and attachments are in your bucket but i would like to put the restriction here okay i would like to put the restriction here so how to put the restriction okay so obviously uh what parameter you would like to use what attributes you would like to use to put the restriction okay if you receive the email so mostly what we use is from right from or we can put the restriction for the specific email attachment. So I will show you how to that do that also. <clears throat> okay. So uh, here uh, first I will show you how to put the restriction based on the uh, sender email. Okay, so email is object and that we have here. So I would like to put the restrictions using conditional statements. So if I will say if email dot sender okay, email dot sender email address okay i am just going to put the email address is equal equal to i'm going to compare the email address whatever the email address i have copied and if this is true in that case only i would like to save the attachment otherwise i don't want to save the attachment otherwise i don't want to save the attachment okay so uh unnecessarily files downloading the files we can avoid and we can download the email attachment from specific email address with the help of this condition so now if i run this okay if i run this you can see that it got executed successfully means only this file got saved or like earlier uh, we had a couple of files in this folder but now the restrictions applied with the help of conditional statements
Now, next is what I wanted to do is let's say I would like to uh, create the folder with uh, the email addresses from the sender email addresses, I guess. Right, sender email addresses. So, uh, here for each email, okay, for each email, uh, we don't know from whom we may have received the folder. So, what I will do, I will say, I will say, folder name, folder name, if I would like to create the folder, okay, folder name is equal to, here I will use email dot sender address because whatever, whatever the sender will be there, okay, with that name only, I would like to create the folder. Okay. And uh, in that case, meaning instead of putting the, this kind of condition, what we can do, we can use uh, this folder name to create the folder and then we can download the attachment into that specific folder. So how to do that? Okay. So folder name is here. So I will say path, okay, not here outside of the loop, inside of the loop, I would like to write, I will say path is equal to, and I would like to join these two. I would like to join these two. So I will say OS dot path dot join. And I will say save folder comma folder name. Okay. So this is what my complete folder part. This is what my complete folder part. Or I can here say like this sender. And instead of this, I can say so that you will not get confused what is the folder name and all. So save folder inside a save folder, meaning this attachment folder. I'm going to create the new folder, which is named as a sender email address. Okay. So now this is fine. So now the, my task is I would, I would like to create the folder, but to create the folder, okay, to create the folder, what I would like to use is I would like to use the OS package dot make directories. Okay and with path okay. now this is fine so this path i can use here instead of save folder to save the attachment because here we we are going to save the files inside this path okay but when to create the folder okay if the folder is not exist in that case only we have to create the folder so i will say if i would like to put the another condition if OS dot path if OS dot path dot exist okay path so this is what the variable if this path is exist if this folder is already created I don't want to do anything I don't need to create the folder right I don't need to create the folder otherwise i would like to create the folder and this is what the command but here you need to say if this path is not exist that's why i said if not os dot path dot exist if this is not true okay in that case this should go and create the otherwise i don't want to create okay but where to create this so okay sender so in that case uh, we don't need to put the condition for sender and all because uh, we are going to create the separate separate folder so you will get data segregated okay so now this is going to create the folder okay and if this meaning if this is true in that case i would like to run this loop to save the attachment into the specific path right this is what the variable we have if any new uh, email come to you and that contains the attachment. Okay. So that contains the attachment or any new sender comes to you. And if the, this will check, this loop will check whether that uh, specific folder is exist with that sender, sender email address or not. If not, it will create, otherwise it will ignore. Okay. And then it will save the uh, attachments into that folder. This is how we are going to perform. Okay. Let me, run this again 
Okay, something is happened. Let's see what happened now. Okay, got it. So these many email addresses are there from which I am receiving the emails. Okay, and out of that, I have received insurance data attachment from webchamp.takedu. If I go here to the folder of webchamp.takedu Gmail, here you can see that here you can uh, find all the attachment that I received from that specific folder. Right. So this is how uh, we can automate our email attachment download using Python. So I hope you like the content of this video. Thank you so much for watching the video. Have a nice day.